What's up with the YouTube? It's TK with Cuts by Kelly. And we're going to talk about the Saints again in this video. So if you're interested in seeing any of my haircut videos, just hit the link on the top corner and you can check those out. Um, I'll be uploading another video soon too. But um, as far as the Saints go, who that? We two and two. We made it through the fourth. I mean, the first quarter at 500. And so I'm happy with that because the team hasn't been looking so good. And But at least we're at 500. We're doing better than the Falcons. <laughs> and even the Cowboys for that matter. So that's good. Um, some of my, the few takeaways I have for this game. Let's talk offense. I think the offense did a pretty good job. Besides the first, um, you know, interception that Drew Brees had, that wasn't really his fault. I mean, we already know Drew Brees is short, so the fact that the lineman tipped it, it was a tip drill interception, so can't really blame him for that. Maybe he was eyeing the receiver too much. I don't know, but cool, he got that INT. But besides that, the offense was clicking on almost all cylinders. The the run game was awesome. Didn't we get a good run game this game? I'm like, yes. Murray looked good like he has been for the first four games. He's been looking good. So they really actually um used him. So I'm I'm you know I'm happy about that. Also, Kamara looked his usual self. Traquan Smith stepped up in this game. Got him two touchdowns. And even Sanders got into it. So, I mean, all around it was good. We didn't really have no tight end presence. Um, Josh Hill usually do all the blocking. So, um, yeah, we didn't have no tight end presence as far as in the passing game. But that's that's to be expected with um, Cook being out. Now, on the defensive side, I think we had a good game too. Um, but I also think... Matthew Stafford had a bad game. He was missing a lot of um, players, passes, and all that. So I think it was good for us as far as defense, go defense goes to get our confidence up. But I'm not sure if it was just, you know, just a stellar defense. They had the help. And look, for us to get to 500, I'll take that help. Like I said, it could be a confidence boost for them. And hopefully in the next game, you know, they'll boost get even more confidence especially Patrick Robinson he was looking he looked pretty good uh maybe they when Lattimore and and Jenkins come back Patrick Robinson can go head on and take back that slot position because you know I'm not a fan of PJ Williams in that position so yeah I would rather Patrick Robinson take that spot so that's something um, that would be interesting PJ Williams didn't do bad but um, I still would trust Patrick Robinson more than him because, I mean, we paid the man the money, so why not let him play? Now, I can't let offense and defense get off the hook because at the end of the game, the fourth quarter, Bolt wasn't really doing what they were doing the first three quarters. Defense fell off, started letting um, Detroit get back in the game. And that's why I said the first few quarters, Matthew Stafford really was missing players, overthrowing, underthrowing, and he just wasn't looking good. So it helped our defense. But when they start getting a little bit in sync, they start driving back down the field on the defense. So some of those things just got to be tightened up. I think our front four could get a little more pressure to help the secondary. But then on the same token, I think our secondary can help themselves without those penalties and trusting in their own abilities, building their confidence. So let's talk about the penalties. I think the Marcus Williams pass interference was, I guess it was a good call because he kind of used his left arm to get some lift. And, you know, that you can't do that. If he would have just jumped straight up and, and, and bumped into him, I think it would have been um, cool. But even with that, his ball skills are not that good because he did jump up and he was nowhere near the ball. Like, even Jonathan Vilma said that 
he didn't even have to go by him to get the interception. If he would have stood back, he would have he would have got it. So that that call could go either way for me. But anyway, Anzalone, Anzalone, the pass interference on him was horrible. Even that little um, illegal touching or something that he got. I thought that was a bad call too, cause you see that all all day. The linebackers just bump receivers, and then they then they go. They they're not supposed to let them just run by them. So they give them a little bump, and then they get in their zone. So those two calls was horrible. That pass in the first was real horrible because he put his body on him, which you're supposed to do, so you can feel your defender, and then he turned and looked towards the ball. And so now his back is not turned to the ball. He's actually looking for the ball. So he's in a position to get an interception, and they're not supposed to call P.I. on that. It's just, like I said, sometimes it just seems like we're getting the short end of the stick when it comes to some of those um, pass interference penalties. Maybe other teams are feeling that too, but I just feel like the Saints – get it a little extra but um let's move on the refs i thought was pretty good this game they 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 had a few bad calls but they they didn't dictate the game like they usually do for the saints so that's a good thing let's talk about special teams deontay harris is deontay harris and I don't know if y'all noticed, they inserted him in the offense a little bit more, which is good. He did two runs, and he did a pass. And either it was one of them runs that they gave him, like, reverse. It seemed like he was going to get no yards, and he got five out of it. And I'm like, like, that's what he for, because he he's short, he's shifty, and so... When he's going against linebackers, they can't stop and adjust as fast as him. So that's why I like him being inserted in the office in the passing game or in the run game. Um, but besides that, like I said, the special teams look pretty good. Morstead is having a few down games, but, I mean, he's a pro bowler and he's human. So that's to be expected. So the, the um, special teams... That game was that game was okay, you know. A few of Morstead's punts wasn't great at by far, but um, like I said, that's to be expected. We got to win out of this, so can't really do too much criticizing on that. As long as we got the win, now the fourth quarter collectively was a horrible quarter. Like I mentioned, for the defense and the offense, because the defense was giving up too much. And offense, they were staying dedicated to the run, so I can't be too mad at them because I feel like instead of being so aggressive, trying to get a touchdown and losing um, with the time, you run the ball, and if you do do a three and out or, or a six and out or something like that, at least you run down three or four minutes off the clock versus if you do it with a pass, you might just lose a minute, so... I think that was in their strategy. So looking forward to the next game against the Chargers. I think the run game should be implemented. We should learn something from this game. Don't rely on Drew Brees all game. We got two pretty much Pro Bowl running backs if we run them like such um, in our backfield. So if we utilize the run game, our passing game will open up. And also Drew Brees will throw the ball down the field. Like we saw, he he wasn't as hesitant like he was previously, so that was another bright bright spot in this game. But black and gold two and two now, so I'm feeling good about that. The the Falcons play tonight. Um, hopefully they get the loss. I'm thinking they will. And the Cowboys got a loss. Somebody told me to talk about the Cowboys, and I forgot all about them. I mean, Dak Press got to lit me up on the fantasy man. I lost. I think I lost because this dude just got so many points in fantasy, but at least fantasy points don't convert to actual wins. They got the L. <laughs> How about them Cowboys? But um, with that being said, 
If you like the content on this video, man, just please subscribe. Hit the like button. Hit the notification bell as well. Like I said, I'll be putting up some more content as far as haircut goes. With that being said, this is TK with Cuts by Kelly. I appreciate you. Make sure you like and subscribe. Who that? Black and gold to the Super Bowl.